All right, it's uh, 646. Tyler Orton from Business of Vancouver is with us this morning. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, good morning, Steve. So Clinton versus Trump last night. Uh, what does it mean for Canada as far as some of their policies are concerned? They talked about NAFTA a lot. We know that. Absolutely. It was a very exciting debate. And as you said, like there's a lot of things that are impacting Canada when it comes to their own economic policies. If we you know, take a look at Clinton, of course, she opposes you know, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which Canada has signed on to, but it has not yet ratified massive trade deal. If that doesn't go through, that would definitely impact the Canadian economy as well. She also opposes the Keystone XL pipeline, which of course Trump has come out in support of. We even had a report yesterday from RBC Capital Markets saying that a Trump presidency would really be a net positive for Canada because of course his pro-oil stances as well as his promise to lower taxes, that would at least in the short term boost a lot of exports from Canada to the United States as the, uh, the economy down south of the border is given at least a short term kind of uh, kickstart over there. So each candidate, uh, there are pros and cons when it comes to the Canadian economy, of course. All right, uh, we'll uh, see how that continues to go, whoever gets elected and what's going to happen with all those trade agreements and whether or not they go through. Let's talk about this story. Uh, you know, when, when Disney bought Marvel back in 08, Marvel wasn't doing very well. Now they're doing very well, and Disney's made a lot of money off them. So now they're ready to spend a little of that, it seems. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> and it could be targeted right at Twitter. We actually hmm. had media reports coming out last week saying that Salesforce.com was mulling an acquisition of Twitter. Now Bloomberg is reporting Disney could be in the market for the social media giants. And it makes sense when you consider the fact that Twitter is going heavy on video dis distribution as of late. They've made deals with the NFL, the NHL. Even last night, if you wanted to stream the presidential debate, you could go ahead and do so on Twitter. So if Disney was able to gain a foothold on that social media giant, it really helped them diversify. Mm -hmm. But Steve, the price tag attached to this. Yeah, when how much? Twitter went, well, Twitter went public three years ago. It struggled with growth since then. At that time, it raised more than $14 billion US going public. Right now, its market value has only increased by about $2 billion. I know, only $2 billion, mm -hmm. but the price tag that uh, Twitter could go for at this point would be about $16 billion US. So deep pockets on the wow. part of Disney if they're willing to spend that much. That is a lot of money. That's a lot of oh, yeah. tweets. <laughs> All right, yeah. 648. Thanks very much for that, Tyler. If you want more details Thank from you. Tyler, go to BIV.com.